Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In today's session, I am going to show you how to interface LCD with HIP microcontroller. For that, we need two softwares. First one is Protein Schematic Tool and Microsoft Pro IDE. First, let's begin with the Protein Schematic Tool. In this, we need to choose our schematic elements. This is schematic library. Yeah, this is our LCD. If I double click here, you will see the element here. That means I added the element. Eight seven seven. Yeah, this is our microcontroller. I added. Next, we need variable resistor. That is part. Yeah, this one. Okay. Now I am going to drag the elements to my workspace. I place on my microcontroller here. LCD here. A variable register here. Now you can use the tool. To zoom the selected area. If you want more, you can use once again. Yeah, right, like this. Now I am going to connect LCD to microcontroller. A reset pin to RB033 and enable pin to RB1 that is 34. And the D42 RB2 D52 RB3 D62 RB4 RB3 D7 Right. Uh, I drag the variable register here. I increase the resistance value of variable resistor to high, that is 100 percent. Okay. Now I connect the LCD to variable resistor. This is to primary pin. And VDD as second ribbon that is ground RW2 ground D0 to ground. Here I am using only 4 bits of LCD. So only, uh, only 4 bits I have connected to microcontroller, remaining I have connected to ground. Now I, we need ground reference. Yeah, that's it. Now we have completed our schematic section in Prodish schematic tool. Okay, now I want to remind you one thing. Here we are doing only software simulation. So only we connected less amount of elements for this interfacing. If you go for hardware implementation, you are supposed to connect more elements for this interfacing like register, oscillator, these things. Depends upon our software we are doing here. Okay. Now I move to Microsoft Pro IDE. This is our user interface of Microsoft Pro IDE. In this, I create new project. I named as PIT. The remaining things I left as it is. Next. Next. Include all. 
finish. This is the our programming workspace. Uh, before we start our program, we have to show our pin configuration of LCD2 microcontroller so that uh, we go for build pointer. In this micro C pro libraries, this hardware libraries here LCD library. I am going to copy the default pin configuration here. And I paste it here. Okay. Now I am changing the pin configuration. I tell you the reason why I am changing this. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Zero, one, two, three, five. You see here, my D seven pin is connected to RB five. D six is connected to RB four. Okay. So only I have changed the pins here. D six to RB three. D5 to RB4 like this. Now we are going to initiate the LCD program. For that, uh, we just move to Help Center. And that I copy LCD in, in, initiate command. I paste it here. And uh, We have to write LCD outputs. I copy and paste it here. You see here, LCD has two rows and so many columns. Okay. According to this, we mentioned the a number here, first row and first column. Okay. Now. We are going to save the program and build it. Right? We didn't have any red message, that means errors. Okay, our program has successfully completed. Okay, double click on microcontroller. Here I am giving 8 megahertz because already have given in my simulation software as 8 megahertz. Okay, uh, pick 16 of 8, 7, 7, right? Now I'm going to upload my program file. And see, this is the program file which we have compiled. Okay. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my channel.